Hemaclea has uh, three functions. It exsanguinates the limb, takes the blood out, it blocks the arterial inflow into the limb, and it spreads a sterile cover over the skin. Um, it is uh, using an elastic ring and um, uh, a stockinette, which is wrapped around it, and it rolls up by pulling the um, um, handles and the straps. So the action is rolling like a steam uh, roller and squeezing the blood out. And at the point where you park it, this is where it is uh, staying and blocking the flow of blood into the limb. The hemoclear is used on the limbs. Uh, it is used uh, on the upper extremity for uh, uh, elbow, even uh, mid shaft or distal humerus uh, cases. Uh, and at that point, it is parked uh, very uh, high up on the arm, or it can be used on the uh, forearm. Um, even it is used on the hand, you usually uh, park it in the uh, mid forearm, about 10 centimeters above the uh, wrist. Um, and uh, on the uh, uh, legs, uh, it is used on the thigh for knee or distal femoral cases. Uh, but it can also be used on the uh, lower leg for foot and ankle cases. Hemaclear should remain for up to 120 minutes, two hours. At the end of this period, it should be removed. If the case is longer than 120 minutes, uh, a new hemaclear can be applied after a break of at least 40 minutes. Professor Leslie Klenerman from Liverpool has shown that this amount of time is uh, required in order to prevent and avoid reperfusion in injury to uh, the tissues of uh, the limb. Um, if 40 minutes are uh, um, um, uh, waited for, then uh, uh, it is possible to apply another hemaclear, and it can be done also over uh, the open surgical field because the hemaclear is sterile. We recommend placing a gauze or uh, a, a, another cloth over the open skin when applying the hemaclear. The hemaclear applies a pressure on the skin that is in the upper range of pressures used for pneumatic tourniquets. However, because of the rheological properties of the soft tissue, this pressure dissipates and falls quite dramatically as you enter into the uh, limb so that when the pressure uh, is measured or estimated uh, near the artery and the nerve, the pressures are much lower, at least 40%. For example, the hemaclear yellow, which is weighted to 190 millimeters of mercury, the pressure just outside of the artery is not more than 210 millimeters of mercury and the same level is true also for the nerves. So the pressures inside are lower uh, than the pressures that are used with pneumatic tourniquets. Tourniquet failure means that blood 
escapes under the tunica and you see blood in the surgical field. There are two types, primary and secondary. The primary tunica failure means that the tunica never occluded. Secondary means that it occluded initially and then all of a sudden you see blood. In general, when a substantial amount of blood has escaped under the tunica, the hemoclear should be removed and a new hemoclear applied. We do not like to have blood stagnating in the limb for the duration of the operation because of clotting and the risk of embolization. Secondary tunica failure almost invariably has to do with a rise in arterial blood pressure during the operation. Arterial blood pressure will go up in a patient under anesthesia if the anesthesia is not deep enough. This is well known. So this is the first sign of the autonomic nervous system telling everyone that the blood pressure has gone up. And the uh, hemoclear pushes into the central circulation about a pint of blood, 450 ml, 500 ml of blood from one leg. This is uh, done over a course of a few seconds and uh, it is uh, um, um, uh, feeding about 10% of the blood into the circulation. It is uh, to be expected that the blood pressure will go up. This is why we need a margin of error when selecting the correct uh, type of uh, hemoclear. Patients with a tendency to high blood pressure uh, should uh, be monitored very closely and uh, in order to prevent a rise in blood pressure and the secondary uh, uh, tonic or hemoclear failure. So it is interesting that we repeatedly hear from anesthesiologists that when the hemoclear is removed after uh, a leg operation, usually a total knee uh, arthroplasty, uh, they see a much smaller fall in blood pressure than with the pneumatic tunica. Um, there are many reasons for uh, that, but probably the most important one is the fact that the uh, hemoclear does not give the immediate effect of release of blood that was uh, uh, locked or, or, or uh, held in the uh, limb uh, for the duration of the operation. With all of its uh, um, uh, component and substances just such as uh, potassium, hydrogen ion acidity, uh, high levels of carbon dioxide, etc. We do see a drop in blood pressure with the uh, removal of hemoclear, but this is limited to the fact that we are opening a vascular bed for blood to flow in. Hemoclear um, um, uh, can be used on an amputee if uh, needed. Um, and uh, uh, the, the one technical issue is uh, the uh, um, actually putting it on. Uh, it uh, sometimes may require a strong team to uh, do so. The forearm. The forearm about 10 centimeters above the wrist, not higher, not beyond the, uh, on the beginning of the muscle mass in the uh, uh, forearm. Uh, that is a place for uh, the hemoclear. 
when you put the hemoclear about here, uh, most people are not uh, complaining of uh, pain or discomfort and it can be kept in this position for as much as 15 and uh, often 20 minutes which is ample time for a surgeon to finish a hemoclear, uh, I'm sorry, to finish uh, a carpal tunnel um, uh, procedure. Um, it is uh, um, uh, therefore possible to uh, do the entire procedure just with some local infiltration and with the cooperation of the patient and this way the patient um, can go home quite uh, uh, soon as is done after a dental procedure. So ankle surgery um, is, uh, um, uh, we have two types of uh, surgeons um, using it. Some insist on placing the hemoclear on the thigh, just with the nomad, like with the pneumatic uh, tourniquet. And there are also many surgeons who would put the uh, hemoclear in uh, a position which is about 15 per centimeters or 6 inches above the lateral malleolus. Uh, this is distal to the end of the solus and gastrocnemius muscles. Uh, it is um, um, uh, a good position for the hemoclear. Some surgeons have tried to use the uh, hemoclear 40 for this purpose, but because of the uh, um, pattern of vascularization with the artery passing in between the ulna, uh, I'm sorry, in between the tibia and the fibula, uh, we strongly recommend to use the hemoclear 60 and not the 40 when using it on the distal um, uh, lower uh, limb. So one has to remember that the femoral artery has three branches in the thigh. Those are the femoris artery, arteries that feed the femur and give blood supply to the uh, um, uh, bone marrow in the femoral canal. Total knee arthroplasty involves cutting the bone. And if we do not block all three femoris arteries, we may have a bleed once we started cutting the bone. This is blood that comes from the proximal femoris artery into the medullar canal uh, of the uh, femur and then seeping out through the cut bone. As such, it is important to place the hemoclear quite proximally near the uh, groin uh, area as high as uh, possible. This is also, impos this is also important uh, in uh, uh, assuring mobility of the knee, which is important for total knee arthroplasty, but also for knee arthroscopies. So remember, put it on the proximal aspect of the uh, uh, leg as high up as possible. The hemoclear is perfect for pediatrics and it is uh, um, uh, used in many places exclusively uh, where they completely retired the pneumatic tourniquet. There are many reasons for that. The pneumatic tourniquet often gives uh, um, uh, um, uh, what called the tourniquet burn. It's a skin injury. Uh, the hemoclear does not. So uh, this is important to avoid it. Another reason is the fact that the thigh or the, uh, even the lower limb of a baby, of a child, is very tapered. 
is conical. And when using the pneumatic tourniquet, inflating it, it has a ten tendency to move down into the surgical field. Another issue with children is sterility. We worry about sterility in the adults. We worry even more in um, uh, children. We try to minimize the duration of the operation. Applying the hammer clear can cut down tourniquet time. Another uh, issue is bleeding. Um, blood loss in a child uh, can quickly bring to the need for blood transfusion. We try to avoid blood transfusion in children as much as uh, possible. So the bottom line is that there are many, many reasons for using the hemoclear uh, in uh, children. The hemoclear uh, baby or the small hemoclear with the pink straps is the one that is to be used on the upper limb. And for the thigh, the hemoclear 40 is the best uh, um, uh, device.